All right, imagine being able to drive a car without ever having to fill up or plug in. Well, the race for fully solar-powered cars has accelerated in recent years as climate change intensifies. So we sent Itai Hod to get a test drive of a car that proves the future is right around the bend. It's a new twist on traditional travel. No gas or plug required. All this car needs is a tank full of sunshine. This is the future. Called the Aptera, this two-seat, three-wheeled car looks more like a futuristic plane, especially when you open its doors. And wait until you see how you do it. There you go. Chris Anthony is Aptera's co-CEO. He says this car, priced at about $35,000, is all about efficiency. There's combustion vehicles, there's electric vehicles, but there's no vehicle that creates its own fuel throughout the day. The global solar vehicle market is just revving up from $450 million in 2024 to $2.5 billion in 2030. The Aptera, which is scheduled to roll out next year, is covered in solar panels that can generate enough energy to drive 40 miles per day. For longer drives, it can be charged like a regular electric car. How fast does this car go? Uh, zero to 60 in about four seconds, and the top speed's 110 miles an hour. We took it for a spin to see how it handles San Francisco's steep terrain. I have to say, it's doing a pretty decent job. Steven Zof, a former Department of Transportation official and Stanford researcher, says that while these cars are a step in the right direction, they may not be ready for prime time just yet. The trade-offs, very small, very lightweight. Uh, limited car carrying capacity are going to be deal breakers for a lot of U.S. customers. And then, of course, there's the weather. What happens if you live in a place like San Francisco, known for its fog? Yeah, San Francisco is a, a great use case for the Abterra. In Southern California, we get a bit more sun, so we get about 11,000 miles of free driving a year with this vehicle. In San Francisco, Seattle, uh, New York, you get more like 8,500 miles a year. Solar cars steering people towards a brighter future where the best way to move forward is to look up. If you're interested in getting one yourself, you've got a while to wait. It isn't expected to come out until Q2 of next year.